my name is Mike Hefner. Mm -hmm. I'm from Appian. Um, we're a leading software platform provider uh, with really heavy concentration of financial services. Um, I am the global capital markets and banking lead for Appian. So that means I get to work with all of our customers on some of their most pressing digitization and transformation challenges and really help them figure out uh, the position for Appian and the role Appian can play in achieving some of those business outcomes. So, um, what is Cybos 2016 for you? Is it the first one? This is the first Cybos for Appian. Now, we're not a young company. We were founded in 1999, but this is really the first time we've uh, discovered Cybos, and it's been an incredible experience. So, it's been four days of engaging with, quite honestly, 90% of the financial services firms that either we have as customers today or we're prospecting are at Cybos, and that's just the reality that it's such a great concentration of uh, the industry. Uh, we think Cybos is fantastic and we can't wait to come back next year. Has it actually uh, met your expectations when you come here? Quite honestly, it's exceeded our expectations. Um, we, we didn't know um, how it was going to go and in terms of the level and the degree of interaction it has been fantastic. Um, we've met uh, some amazing firms, uh, some amazing business leaders that are really in different stages of where they're trying to take their companies but Appian is absolutely positioned to help them and that's fantastic. It's, it's all about connections, it's all about uh, helping to achieve a better outcome for the future. Have you actually brought a particular product on Cybers to showcase or it's just the general services you offer? Actually, we were lucky enough that the CTO of First Republic Bank uh, came and uh, spent quite a bit of time with us in the booth answering questions, uh, but he also co-presented some of the things that First Republic Bank is doing in terms of driving their transformational journey with Appian. Uh, First Republic's been a customer now for a couple of years and they've achieved really dramatic improvements in how they service their customer and how they manage uh, their business uh, across the board. How do you help your clients build strategic um, purpose? As you say, without strategic purpose. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, we find that many of our customers, especially in financial services, are challenged by a number of different things. Um, first of all, cost. Uh, second, the compliance challenges are not going away. They, they continue to compound and grow. Uh, and, you know, luckily, and, and I'm particularly excited about this, the customer and the customer experience has re-entered the conversation. Much of that driven by customer expectations that are being set uh, that are different than they used to be, but also much of that being driven by the emergence of fintechs and some of the more innovative ideas around our industry. So I think we're, at the, we're in the middle of a transformation uh, and what we're seeing is our customers are being challenged to respond to that transformation in an environment where they've made significant investments into their legacy architectures and those are not easily uh, shifted or changed. And what Appian allows our customers to do is really create and leverage a digital overlay that is mobile, that is omni-channel, that is essentially the glue that holds together a fintech execution strategy as well. So our customers are getting value by not having to rip and replace the existing architectures uh, and manage execution more in line with you know, more more stringent definition of cost. So they're driving down cost, they're creating better customer experiences, and they're making sure everything hangs together in a way that meets the regulatory demands that are so uh, so immense and continue to be immense. Do you have any um, case study examples? Yes, we have. We, we're lucky enough to, to have many customers here uh, as well. So several of the, the large, mid-sized banks um, you know, I'll, I'll stick with First Republic just because they were kind enough to, to help us um, this week. Um, 
and Jay Cherry, the CTO, did speak about this during his presentation. But First Republic started with an initial challenge, which was how to more effectively onboard their wealth management customers. The experience was really fractured, uh, and for First Republic, it's all about servicing the customer more effectively. They pride themselves in high-touch customer service, um, and it's a clientele that they target that deserves it. They're I'm not sure how much you know about them, but they're they're the bank targeting the sort of um, the uh, a very wealthy segment, um, customer segment. So for them to be able to transform the way they onboard, to make it a more holistic experience for the customer uh, that was faster, um, richer, didn't uh, re-ask the same questions over and over, uh, was more compelling in terms of the information that was being delivered about the status of an onboard, was, was a great way to go. And they delivered their first wealth management onboarding application in 12 weeks. So from concept with a blank page in the conference room to fully deployed. Um, and that was their starting point. Uh, they then layered on um, multiple compliance uh, processes, KYC, etc., and then uh, continued their evolution. And they're continuing. They have several uh, solutions built on Appian that all interconnect live and running, and they are continuing to expand the horizon, driving down costs, creating better customer experiences, more compliant processes. What actually, um, can, judging from uh, these four days, yeah. what IBM is seeing, what kind of challenges are coming up in the near future yeah. which banks and financial <laughs> institutions will face? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great question. I think it's, it's continuing, the, the, uh, the banks and financial institutions will continue to be challenged by the things I already talked about, cost, compliance, and, and a customer experience. But I think the key change, and this often gets missed, that's happening right now, is the rate of transformation. I think everything is accelerating. Everything is going faster. Customer expectations for service, for delivery is faster. The regulatory response is faster. I think it's just the pace of change and the pace that's being expected of banks in their reaction to change is really what's, what I see as sort of a macro difference uh, that's gonna hit us even harder in the next couple of years. So banks are, you know, traditionally, not all banks, but traditionally not necessarily the most agile organizations. Uh, there's definitely outliers, there's definitely firms that move at a rapid pace, but I think more and more firms are going to be challenged just to move faster and that's a key change I'm seeing.